What's up guys, Jared Beckstrand here, physical therapist, founder ToneandTitan.com. Today we're talking about three common dumbbell exercises that I see being performed incorrectly in the gym. What they are and what you should be doing instead. We're coming at you right now. All right, so two of the most common problems that I see when people are working out with dumbbells is that they're not working actively against the resistance and that they're not going through full range of motion. So these three exercises that I'm gonna show you have to do with those two issues. So again, we're gonna show you what you're doing wrong and potentially what you can do to make those a little bit better, maximize those gains a little bit more. All right, so the most common exercise that I see performed incorrectly, it's one that makes me cringe every time that I see it. It's one that's performed all the time and every time I kind of look at it and think, oh man, you're, you're kind of missing the mark. You're not doing that one 100%. It's this standing dumbbell external rotation exercise. We all know it's important to work our rotator cuff. Unfortunately, I don't think all of us know how to do it. This is the exercise where you're standing there with a set of dumbbells, elbows are bent at a 90 degree, and then you're externally rotating at your shoulder and then returning back to that starting position. Now, here's the thing. Think about the dumbbell and think about gravity. Resistance is all always going to work straight down on a dumbbell because gravity is always going to work straight down on a dumbbell. And so what you're doing is basically we call that an isometric biceps contraction. Your biceps is curled to that 90 degree angle and then you're contracting your biceps simply while you're externally rotating your shoulder. There's no line of pull in what we would call a transverse plane of motion. Basically gravity is acting straight up and down vertical. You want resistance in a horizontal plane of movement and so we'd call that the transverse plane is we're externally rotating at our humerus, at our glenohumeral joint right here. And so what we need to do is come up with a way to make that resistance not straight up and down vertical, rather horizontal instead. So what I recommend to people is get rid of the dumbbell for this one and actually grab some bands. So grab some bands, grab a cable. Here I'm going to show you with one of these little resistance loops. What you're going to do is wrap that around the back of your hands, your wrists, and then you're going to externally rotate against that. And so what we've done here, no longer is gravity pulling that dumbbell straight down, but that band, the resistance from that band is actually, actually again, in more of a horizontal plane of motion. And so that's really gonna maximize those external rotators. That's the exercise that's gonna hit that rotator cuff a lot more effectively than if you were to do this exercise with dumbbells. The second dumbbell exercise that I see performed incorrectly all the time is going to be a simple dumbbell curl. The problem that I see with this has to do with range of motion. People just don't go to that full range of motion. You've got those dumbbells and you're banging out your curls and yet your elbow stays relatively bent the whole time. The ones that really make me cringe are the ones that don't even bend their elbow. They're the ones that are working the anterior delt more than anything. They're using that shoulder to bring that dumbbell up to kind of the to the to the shoulder, to the top of the chest, rather than any bend at all in your elbow. What I tell people on this, in order to maximize those gains, in order to really feel that exercise in your biceps where it's intended to be felt, is that we're going to really straighten out the elbow. So I tell people down at the bottom of the curl, I actually want you to contract your triceps. That's going to ensure that that elbow is all the way locked out. It's really going to fire what we would call an antagonist muscle. It's the muscle on the other side of the bicep, so it's the muscle that performs the opposite motion. Get that antagonist firing, that triceps firing down at the bottom of the curl, and then from there use the biceps to pull up. That's the second exercise that you can maybe do a little bit better, the second way to enhance that, see a little bit more of the progress that you're after. So the third exercise is going to be a dumbbell triceps extension or a dumbbell skull crusher. Now, this one is a little bit harder. This one is a little bit more difficult if you don't really understand the physics and the anatomy behind this. That's why I'm here to explain it to you. Most commonly what I see is people lay down on that bench. They've got their dumbbells, but their elbows are actually pointed straight up at the ceiling. From there, they're gonna bend the elbows and then extend to that straight up at the ceiling position. What people don't understand is that when you're all the way in that fully extended position with your elbows straight and the weight straight up at the ceiling, meaning the weights are straight over your shoulder, gravity, again, think about what gravity is doing, is pulling straight down on that dumbbell. It's just giving you an axial load through your shoulder, through your arm and into your shoulder. There's very little muscle activation required when you go to that full extension on the triceps 
if your arm is straight, or meaning if your arm is straight up towards the ceiling, if your arm is perpendicular to the bench. Now, what we can do to actually make that exercise a little bit better is get those elbows kind of up and over your head a little bit more. That way, when we come into that full extension position, we're not giving it that axial load. It's not just a passive kind of holding the weight in place against gravity. We're actually kicking the triceps on. Triceps is active as, that, as gravity is trying to pull that weight down towards the floor, and as our arms are up over our head, our triceps are engaged and they're active that whole time. In order to maximize muscle activation, we want our muscle to be perpendicular to the force, not parallel to it. What that means is that we don't want that weight pushing straight down. We want actually some muscle activation. How we do that is we're going to get our elbows actually back and over our head. That way that triceps doesn't ever turn off because there's no kind of passive holding against gravity in that position. So if you're looking for a way to really enhance that triceps extension, that tricep skull crusher, try that out. Don't let your elbows get straight up towards the ceiling. Try to hold them kind of up and over your head a little bit more. Really enhances the exercise. All right, so there you have them. Three common upper body dumbbell exercise mistakes and what you can do to hopefully enhance those. Hopefully you can make those a little bit better. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. Those likes go a long way, so thank you so much for those in advance. Also, if you haven't done so already, this is a great chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan here on YouTube. We share a lot of great tips like this, some workouts, some healthy recipes. My goal is to help you to achieve your fitness goals. I hope you guys subscribe to our channels. If you have any questions, or comments, please leave that down below. I'll get to that just as soon as I can. And until next time, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan.